Jesus' name. In the forefront, not an afterthought. And welcome to Read Aloud with Lady J. I am, you guessed it, Lady J. Thank you for joining me today. Did you know that you are special? Yes, you are special. God made you special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. As a matter of fact, we all are fearfully and wonderfully made. Because we are all made in the image of God. His word tells us so. And so today's story is just a reminder of all of our differences. However, although we may have a different skin color, we may have different backgrounds, different hair textures, we still have one thing in common. We are all of the same race, the human race. I hope you enjoy today's story. Let's get started. The Colors of Us by Karen Katz To all the kids in the world, especially my beautiful daughter, Lena, and to my mom for believing the artist in me, special thanks to Laura. My name is Lena, and I am seven. I am the color of cinnamon. Mom says she could eat me up. My mom's the color of French toast. She's an artist. Mom's teaching me how to mix colors. She says that if I mix red, yellow, black, and white paints in the right combination, I will have the right brown for a picture of me. The right brown? But mom, brown is brown, I say. That's not so, mom says. There are lots of different shades of brown. Let's take a walk. You'll see. We go to the playground where we see my friend Sonya. Sonya is a light yellow brown, Mom says, just like a creamy peanut butter. I say, my favorite. Isabella is chocolate brown, like the cupcakes we had for her birthday. Two streets over, we meet my cousin Kyle. His skin is a reddish brown like leaves in fall. Carlos and Rosita have brought their new puppy to the park. Carlos is a light cocoa brown, and Rosita's skin looks like butterscotch. When we pass by the pizza parlor, Mom and I see Mr. Pellegrino flipping a pizza high in the air. He is the color of pizza crust, a golden brown. Lucy has skin that's peachy and tan. My best friend, Jo Jen, lives close to the playground. Jo Jen is the color of honey. My babysitter, Candy, is like a beautiful jewel, bronze and amber. She looks like a princess. Mom and I walk to the park to eat our lunch. Look at everyone's legs. Mom, all the different shades. After lunch, we walk to Mom's favorite store, where Mr. Cashmere sells many different spices. He's the color of ginger and chili powder. Up the street is my Aunt Kathy's laundromat. Aunt Kathy is tawny tan, like coconuts and coffee toffee. After our walk, my friends come over. We take our towels to the roof and lie in the sun. I think about everyone I saw today. Sonia, Isabella, and Lucy, Jojen and Kyle, Carlos and Rosita, Mr. Pellegrino and Candy, Mr. Cashmere and Aunt Kathy. Each one of them a beautiful color. My friends leave and I go downstairs. I am happy as I get out my paints, yellow, red, black, and white. I think
think about all the wonderful colors I will make, and I say their names out loud. Cinnamon, chocolate, and honey. Coffee, toffee, and butterscotch. They sound so delicious. At last, my pictures are done, and I've painted everyone. Look, Mom, I say, the colors of us. If you didn't get a chance to, go back now and answer the questions on each page. Then come back and complete these activities. You're in the spotlight. Activity 1. Lena learned there is not just one shade of brown, but many wonderful hues of brown. Have you ever thought about how many shades of brown exist within your circle, family, friends, and community? If not, now is the perfect time to do so. Draw or paint a picture of your family, friends, and neighbors. Give each of them a special name to honor the beauty of their skin tone. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Psalms chapter 134, verse 14. You're in the spotlight. Activity 2. Compare yourself to a character in the story using a Venn diagram. Note how you are the same and how you are different. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. I hope you enjoyed the story. If so, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you'll be notified when there are more videos. Thank you and remember to let your light sparkle.